Welcome everybody to 48 to Talk, episode number 83. I am your host, Race Body, as always. Joining me this time is the user crew of the Extra Camino on the right, Derek on the bottom left, and that Canadian guy on the bottom right. Hi, everybody. Uh, sorry for recording a little later this week. I had some scheduling issues on my own, and thanks to the crew for being so patient with me. But we're now recording this on Tuesday. For now. We weren't we, we weren't patient. If you notice, Yeah was holding a glow in this dark uh, dynamite pack there. Yeah. Oh, to go up yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, you are to green, by the way. Let's do it then right away. It's it's yeah, green it. indeed. It's green, green, man. Ah, green. Yeah. <laughs> good thinking, good thinking, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Kea Kizaka forty six six single. Woo! And oh, yeah. uh, we will listen to it and the title mm. is uh Garasu wo Ware. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. So, um, I listened to it, and I, the rest of you listened as well. And who wants to go first? What are your opinion? I'll go last because I got a lot to say. So oh. Go ahead. oh. Oh. Hell, hell, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go yeah. first. I'll go first. So, I love it. It's. Yep. it's yes. This yes. is. Good. This is good, definitely good. the rock type. Uh, yep. Little EDM, I would say, a bit in there, but it's again. It's it's. It's different dark. It's not like yep. emotional dark, but like fighting dark. And and just, mm -hmm. I saw a little bit of bits of the video of the MV, and I love that Tessie is in like her sleeve and she just throws it off. Yep. <laughs> and what I don't like here, I'll go ready from the MV is everybody is wearing black. Tessie's wearing red, just showing like I am the <laughs> leader of this group. I am the center. Yep. I will always be the center. It's like now. Mm. I don't know if it's her saying this or it's management now saying like, look, mm. this is the center of the group. This is how we go with this group. Deal with it. And yeah, I, I love the the dance that was going uh, along with the, with the beats behind, like a guitar. It's, it, it, it gives a little anime opening feeling, but yeah. it's really powerful again. And um, I'll listen to this uh, probably daily because this is a very good, good, good song. Mm -hmm. Next. Awesome, Rob. That's awesome. so. That makes me so happy. I didn't see the MV though. Like, uh, the, uh, I know there's snippets out there. But... Snippets. Yeah, just snippets, just, yeah. just press, a yeah, little. Uh, yeah. the, the GG press in the morning. Uh, yeah. Morning uh, TV shows. Get, but were you like, oh, this is good? Like, did you get that feeling from yeah, watching? Yeah. It, it. You know what? It gave me a feeling because Tetsu in red, everybody's in black. It gave me the Michael Jackson cool. uh, feeling from Bad. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Little style, but it's it's you know it's under the bridge and everything is in ruins and it's like. Mm. I, I don't know what fits in the storyline of this because we had you know the little in suits and the little happy and that she flew away, but I feel I feel like she was shot down and just back on the ground. It's like okay, we're stuck here right now and and we're not see, leaving. Yeah. But see, just based on what you said and from the MV and your little Michael Jackson reference, to me, Tetchy's up in heaven now. She met Michael. Uh, Michael gave her the <laughs> outfit, and now she's moonwalking all over our idol ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that's why I thought I'd see the comparison between Tetchy and Michael Jackson. Though. I know. Oh, that's like oh what the heck? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but no, no, offense to Michael Jackson fans, but Tetchy's got a one up. Well, other than being alive, I guess. Oh, that's bad. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's well, sorry. Well, yeah. DX. Okay, anyway, DX, DX, what do you think? Uh, when I first heard it, well, it was actually Sidotsu who pointed me and Derek towards the yeah. song. So we, I Thank really, you. Liked, really, really have to thank him for it. But Thank when you. I first listened to it, it's like, why am I getting so beat up? I was actually doing some coding and I was ready to leave for school. I put it mm. on my uh, MPP, I put it on my phone and I took my bicycle towards the left. It's usually uh, bicycle ride for about 40, 45 minutes. I did it in 30. It's like, why am I this fast? I was listening to uh, the song the whole time pretty much. And it's like, this ah. is something to get me going hard. Mm. Just seeing mm. uh, yeah. DX going like 40 miles an hour on a bike. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah mm. I really like it. I really liked it. Awesome, it got man. It got me pumping anyway. So that's my take on it. It's a really good workout song, I would say. So. Mm. Canadian. Good. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> Canadian. Not even Canadian guy. Just Canada. What do you have to say, Canada? They have something against us cold people. <laughs> I do. You guys are beating us in the Olympics. I don't want to hear anything from you. Okay? 
Uh, Canada's crushing. No, Netherlands is crushing it on the skating no, on that ne part. Yeah. Netherlands is crushing everybody. The orange, the orange attack is back. It's awesome. Yep. All I have to say as a Canadian uh, for Olympics is I don't. I could support anyone else on any sport, like any country. We as long as I support hockey, then I'm good. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> <That's true. laughs> hey, the That's women's true. USA crushed it though. Anyway, <laughs> what do you think anyway, about KS yeah. Six Single? Uh, it's a good song, but like when they said "Rock You," every time I hear "Rock You," I yeah. hear the F word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Oh, "Rock You." Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I hear actually uh, "Lock You" because of "Girls Lock" of uh, Tetchy's radio show she does. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I hear like the F word though. Mm. So, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, on the MB like this. Like, I've been doing this for the past ten minutes. So. <laughs> oh, the sleeve. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. With this little hidden. The sleeve. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, that's that's <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Though, but you liked it. Yeah, that yeah, it's a good song. I can't wait for a Nachan song though. I like, know. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's kind of yeah. overshadowing everything in a way. Mm. I'm so dying to hear Nachan at center, man. I really am. Yeah. I agree. Well, I I think though, again with the sleeve and stuff like that, I really think this song is a statement from management, mm. or maybe a statement from the members. Hey, thank you for caring, fans. But we got this. Or. Stop thinking about how we should lead this group and just enjoy our songs. Maybe that's their uh, message behind this. I don't know. But I do have a feeling they are listening. Maybe that's also a message. It's like, hey, we hear you. Thank you, but we got this. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This song really gives me a little... It, it gives me pumped up and it gives the group like... We were having the transition between 5th and 6th single. They were like, okay, is the group going to be okay? They had some down points. But now with this 6th single going out, I believe they're like... No, we got this. It's fine. Oh, I, mm. I, I think in the storyline you were saying before, they're like, oh yeah, we achieved. Uh, we've been in suits. Now we're gonna fight the other company in our Yankee. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah, let's go. <laughs> I could see. I could see the, it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, go sure. ahead. I, th I think go they're trying to connect to with the NGT one yeah. too, because oh, they like, um, managed Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> so. Gotta like, chime oh, in yeah, as well, by the way. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. gotta chime in. That's yeah. another thing. Uh, I uh, the new AKB single is scheduled in about a month uh, right now, so I'm kind of thinking mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow is the first preview at All Night Nippon. I would say. Oh, Ooh. of course. That's something to look out for. Something, yeah. out, something to check out. Yeah, I'm sure we'll hear it. Yeah. So. But but what I one thing I'm also wondering, so. We had Zeus. Okay, you still have like a, a like not an army unit, but you know FBI agents or something like that in mm -hmm. suits. What is this kind of unit? Because they're not in, in in they're not in their typical you know marine outfit or like marine school types. Mm -hmm. Are they rebelling? Maybe there's also a message behind this. Mm, might be actually. Because mm. if you go from silent majority to um, well actually for the Royal, yeah. The, all those uh. songs, they still had the same type of, you know, marine <laughs> school yeah. outfit. Yeah. Then the fifth single had uh, a suit, but you can still <coughs> make a connection there, unit. And, <laughs> uh, oh, Derek, you okay, man? Uh, yeah, allergies. And now it looks like they're, they are in this rock outfits, and even their center has a different, like, leader type outfit. So I wonder <laughs> what, what really is the, the, the direction they're going with this. Hmm. I don't know. Mm. But okay, so we all. Went. I'm telling you, they're trying to fight NGT. Could <laughs> <laughs> be. Oh, we all went now, Derek. So. Yeah. So so first of all, you know, thank you, Sudoitsu, again. I I listened to the link pretty late at night. Maybe it was just the fact it was so late. I was it was you know real quiet. I got really into it, man. Like I I almost had tears in my eyes when that first chorus hit because it was like. Kea is back. Like, this is what they needed. Now, granted, it's a flawed song. It, the, the Rocky part, I actually hate that part a lot um, because I think it, it's very cheesy. Um, when they did Boku Ayata and Fukuan, that worked somehow. First, I, But I also remember I didn't like that first time I heard it, and then it grew on me. But 
the thing is, um, the the part that's flawed is when it, at the end of the chorus, like dun da 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 da. It's like that's that's I hate. But if you take that out, this song is exactly what I wanted from Kaya. Exactly because the oh 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 that well that's actually playing it kind of safe I think because. Every group's doing a part like that now. Yeah. Every one of them. And I, 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 <laughs> NGT, we have to blame for that, I think, because NGT did it the best with their second single, yeah. in my opinion. But now everybody does it. But that's okay. I'm actually okay that I, I like those parts. So I don't have a problem with that. The, the reason why this song works is that chorus. When they hit that second verse, when the, the, the voice goes up a little into the minor note, and it's like, like, da na 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 And it's like she hits that minor note, I had like instant goosebumps the first time I heard it. And then the end, right before they do the da 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 da, when they, it's not, it's, if you look at it in bar, in four bars, the, the second bar is amazing. And the third bar, the end of the third bar, where it, it sounds like this real, like suspended minor, it's so beautiful. And if I had written the song, I would have kept going with that minor and I would have had a solo there. However, I do like for the bridge part they do a they do a rock solo if they do uh, like a, a like a sweep like like on the guitar and I wasn't expecting that so that was cool um, again it's a flawed song it's definitely not Fukuon at all but the chorus I I'm probably listening to the song like thirty times because that chorus part when they when she hits that minor note I live for moments in songs like that as a musician. That's what I'm looking for is that something different. Now, granted, when you put this in the I'm sure it'll take a whole other meaning. I'll probably like it even more. But I have to be honest, Kaya's back, man. They, they they have a very solid six single here. I think everybody that likes Kaya will probably not have too much of a problem with the song. I can't see that, that being a problem. And more importantly, they have a chorus that is so strong that I think it overshadows the parts of the song that I'm saying are flawed. Now, again... Everyone has their opinion. I'm, I'm coming at this more from a music, musician standpoint. This is also my first real run at listening to it. Normally, when I listen to a song over and over again, I tend to like parts I don't even care for. Like Yana, Yana Koto Sotomuto, they have a song called No Regret. And when I first heard No Regret, I didn't like the verse part at all. I was like, oh, this verse part sucks. But then now it's one of my favorite songs. Like, I, like it all flows together nice because the chorus in No Regret for Yana Koto's song is it, – it's like this. It, it's perfect. There's so much perfection to it. So – that's my overall reaction. I'll say this. Kea, Kea, Kea could have done a little better, but that's me being picky. I think overall, they did amazing. So they did so amazing, they knocked Yeo out of this discussion. Look at that. I mean, just talking about it. He's good. So, I mean, we, can't, we can't even have Yeo anymore because they're, they're that. Uh-oh. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> what? To... Yeah, you're frozen again, dude. <laughs> I think everyone is freezing up. Nah. I'm here. I'm good. Everyone looks yeah. solid to me. Uh -oh. oh God! What? No free? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You have technical okay. problems? No. Okay, we we're good? fine. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, anyways, that's that's my summation. Awesome song. Great job. Can't wait to see the MV. Um, really happy K is back. Do you guys think they're back? I mean, would you say that? Uh, I think they never left, to be honest. But there you go. There you go. They had, nice. they had a bit of a downtime with the Okaku incident, but they were never. With all gone. that, that whole yeah. they were that never whole gone, though. Yeah. But, but you know, did you watch like uh, Kitakai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were showing the behind the scenes stuff yeah, 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 of uh, yeah. the Budokan show. Oh my Theory, God, yeah. <laughs> I, I was watching it at work in my break and yeah. I was struggling with like, N don't cry in front of your coworkers. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? right? It was right, so right. good when they yeah. announced that they got their solo. Like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, but did you see how many people, like, for being the Hiragana, like, I was like, dang, like, uh, I mean, AKB and Noki better even, watch out. Even oh, Suchida man. was, uh, you know, yeah. ready Katakana. for her. Katakana. Katakana Kayaki, oh my god. But he pulled his thing off, <laughs> I was cracking up, he yeah. looked so awesome. I expect him to have his own song, like, somewhere this year. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, okay. maybe on the album that's coming up from them. Mm -hmm. He'll have a, like, a solo song. Well, he, Suchida... I don't know if you ever saw the very famous clip with Perfume, but Perfume was on a talk show and he came on and he did like three of their songs or something. He did all the dance moves and the mm. girl, they were, their jaws were on the floor because their <laughs> Perfume's dancing is, is like light years above everybody. I mean, you just can't do what they do. It's too hard. And 
he made it look effortless. So they actually got up and started dancing him. So I started thinking like, that's his character. That's like his gap, you know? Like he, he's real chill, but then he does these wacko things like that or what he did at Budokan. He pulled yeah. that off and he was dressed like in full, like, who'd he say? It was Nero's costume? It was Nero, yeah, yeah, it was Nero's old costume. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, the, you, you know, the, but, but I think, yeah, I was just going to say, real quick, I think the more appropriate thing to ask is, will he have a photo book coming out like Nero? Sorry for that mental image, Sheffield. Sorry for that mental image. Before uh, anyone else, we need Sugai Sama's photo book, please. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, please, already. Yeah, no, um, the guy. It, it is a tradition with, with his, every time uh, Kei Kizek comes out with a new single or album, uh, all the cover jackets, they will we'll make a version with him in it. So, yeah. oh, really? yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. that is, yeah. There's ah, always a, like an, an uh, drawing of him uh, as a cover jacket. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll probably see it in there, but I really hope he'll get his own song. But he was actually prepared to go. He, he was, yeah. I think he was joking, but he was also serious. He's like, hey, uh, it was great of him to get uh, out of Nehru's song, all of them, but hey, I was here, so why not me? Well, I he's think he actually really, practiced. Yeah, he's really yeah. helped Kea. Mm -hmm. Like, remember, remember these girls when we first saw them. They, yeah, they I remember we talking about them not having variety skills. None. None. <laughs> now look. And, right now, and let now, look at them now. They, well, he and he's also he's. I think he's but off camera. My guess is he's very, um, very family like to them. Very much like like maybe a big brother or even a father figure to them in the sense that he probably really tries to help them. He is their senpai, yeah. so it's like. Yeah. They really like him, and and I think he's done a lot for them. And mm. also, he's just a good dude, it seems. I so. think, yeah, I think he's like the bad boys when AKB was growing up. Back yeah, then. that's that's what I'm kind of well, thinking too. Well, so. has been always in idol groups, uh, even with AKB, he'd done down multiple shows. You know, worked out with mm. Sashi a lot, right. and then. Oh yeah, mm. he was working with uh, Tentomuchi as well. Yeah, Tentomuchi oh, right. he did also that's growing right. up. So, but he also really likes to do these idol shows because yeah. he's an idol fan at heart. So mm -hmm. just, just amazing this stuff. But what I really like um, that Hiragana is now uh, like officially closed oh, off from be, yeah. uh, Kanji, yeah. and awesome. and a lot of people were like giving like, oh, why could have their own album? Why not Kanji? This stuff, that no, no. I actually like the separation because now you have like an internal war. You know, K Kanji cannot uh, relax because no, exactly. Hiragana is is on their tail, and they still have to you know. It's more, it's a little more pressure, but it's good pressure, I would say. And I agree. Then you can focus. Then you don't have to worry about oh, Sembatsu. Maybe someone from Hiragana will show up. You can have a relaxed Sembatsu, and maybe that's also the reason why Techi's still center. You can have now the relaxed Sembatsu, and Hiragana can have their own Sembatsu, and you go through this situation. And my computer is freezing right now, so hopefully you hear me. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, you're you're totally good with me. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't want this to happen right now. I will lose my mind. <laughs> but we'll see um, on this side. I'm looking forward to everything that comes out right now on 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 Kea on he and on uh, well Kea in general on AKB coming up and who knows what is Nogi gonna do? You know, with Ikomarina leaving. Oh yeah, this will be interesting. One more center song, I, Ikomarina. I, I yeah. mean. It's February, and we already have a massive amount of drama and events and things that have happened in the, you know, the AKB48 family world, and and all. all but honestly, it's it's a great time to be fans of these these groups because so much is already kind of happening. And and again, like even Hiragana standing on their own two feet, right? Like, who would have thought? What what in like less than what like a year or two years? Like, look at them. Like, they're here. Like they're here. Mm -hmm. And and they they made a heck of an announcement at Budokan saying we can do this, and they look like pros. So I, I I think this is a good thing because now again the best the best moments for these groups I think comes in the competition that's inward between them. When you know when Team A was fighting Team K, Team B, you know back in the early days of AKB, oh, yeah. it was it was a bloodbath. But look what came out of it: great songs, great competition. Then SKE showed up, and SKE set the bar. I mean, they set the bar, and then. Then NMB comes out of nowhere, you know, so it's like every time you add a group, I mean, look at NGT if you just want further proof and SCU too with what they're doing, you know, yeah. we, 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 we're seeing a lot of good things. Well, so very good, Derek, for that segue. Both, because... both, oh. both, 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 yeah, both, <laughs> both. <laughs> no, good say, good say, I didn't even realize I say, but yeah, there you go. Uh, speaking of NGT 48, 
Um, they already already announced another single that's coming up for the third single, and it's called mm. Haru wa Doko Kara Kuru no Ka. Yes. Released one day before my birthday. Yay. Yay. Uh, <laughs> and the center position may surprise you. Homa Hinata will yeah. be the center for this song. Mm. And uh, well, I'm not really surprised though. So uh, why? <laughs> why aren't you surprised? L- let us hear that. Because I think they're trying to do uh, a rotating center. Like they're trying to find like even though Ogino Yuka has like like that big impact, Honma Hinata actually has a big impact too for being yeah. number thirteen. Yeah, so the they're like, oh yeah, like, let's. Hmm? She wrecked some at the uh, Sasaki last. Yeah. So it will be interesting. Yeah. So maybe it's just happening right now, and it's just a natural evolution, I would say. So. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is why I love Sony management too, because like, oh yeah, you're the second and highest next to Kitarie, of course, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she's yeah. leaving soon, so. Yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, Honma Hinata se- third center. Okay, okay, I'm good. <laughs> Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, nothing else to say about that, I would say. The Senbatsu announcement wasn't there yet, right? So the, I think... I all, think of, uh, all, of, yeah, all of Generation 1 is in the Senbatsu, except for the Generation 3 Drafties. Mm. Yeah, everyone's there. Yeah, I actually though I do have something to say about it though. Like I, I like I I'm not the biggest fan of Hanma. I I know like she's always paired up and she's considered to be one of the better and she's team members. She ranks in Batsu, all that. But honestly, I'm not I'm not a fan of hers. I don't I just everything about her I don't really it doesn't vibe well with me. And also too, I really feel like all the girls that I tend to pick in groups they always tend to get passed over. Like like my girl in in NGT is Mahon. And it's like, why not give that girl a shot? Like, she's so amazing. Like, everything about that girl is so quirky and different. And I, I don't know if she can sing well or not. I haven't really heard her solo really that much. But, like, why not give it to something completely different is what I guess I'm saying. Instead of Ogi or, you know, Hanma, I guess. I don't know. I was kind of – or even Katamina. Like, give this girl another chance to go back to – what we all thought she was going to be at the beginning, which was basically the face of NGT, yeah, you know? I think she is on the same uh, Meru boat that is uh, yeah. on NGT, sadly. Yeah, might be. Boat, mm. boat, boat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you realize that one there, Robin. You walked pretty much something to that. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> okay, well, if we're going to talk about the boats... <laughs> See, I was gonna say. See, that's a good. That's a good say. You, you, you floated right into that one. You just floated, floated right really in. Floated, really yeah, because I said floated oh, because float. Because because oh, okay, we're gonna continue the cheesy cliches. They're uh, saying there. So. SCU forty eight. Oh, wait, actually, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a boat because they don't have one. It'd be more like paddling. We let's paddle our way in because yeah. they don't have any boats. Well, either, they're so. standing near a river, so I don't know what that is, but. SU48 debut <laughs> single on yeah. the first week they sold 136,000 copies. That is pretty good actually for like a debut single, right? Is I, well, this is where our statistical fan people could probably bust out some numbers and say yes or no to that question. But I'll say it sounds sounds good to me, considering SU has only recently gained it seems any kind of media support via documentary and whatnot, and that's recent, so. I don't know. I guess it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the song is solid. It, it, it's different than I would have expected, but it's not mm-hmm. a terrible song. Mm. That's it. I can say it. It's. <laughs> I'm, I'm still. I'm still not. You know. I still need to get into SCU, and I'm going to binge watch uh, Seto Bingo because I've seen some good moments, but not like I need to watch this show because it's amazing till like no extent. Um. I did watch, thanks to uh, DX Takamina, of course, for subbing a little bit of STU48 uh, show with the opening <laughs> segment. Uh, oh, yeah. pre- pretty funny, but, you know, who carried that part mostly is, of course, Okada Nana, so... Well, mm. speaking of subs, DX, you've been doing a great job on those, thank you. The, the Now and Rar one was hysterical. <laughs> I was oh, laughing yeah. so much. Poor yeah. Firata. <laughs> I was uh, when I watched the when I was uh, watching the rewatching the show back again. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to do this because it was so funny. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I know you get in your like little subbing kicks and like when you then you start going, I notice like you just start turning them out. But like seriously, I've been enjoying every one you've released, but that one what Rara, Rara could have got trolled so bad by now with that, yeah. you know, like all now I had to do is be like, Oh yeah, well there's light at the end of the ocean or whatever. Yeah. Have, I don't know. But 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 it's like, you know, it was just funny because it was it was just a good back and forth. But I, I don't know, I I just want to say good job. Sorry. Just had to throw that in there. Mm. Anyone else for STU forty eight or I mean, if you have, because that's probably why it's hundred nineteen thousand, because you have to buy all seven CDs to uh, get all the whole movie. Yeah, the movie. The management <laughs> idea here, you know, <laughs> you need all times to understand the secret message or something. <laughs> well, you know, you know what though, that that's actually like a, a a play taken right out of the 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 underground idol scene because. Like Necronomidal just released like well, like their Strange Eon CD, and I was at the release party or whatever, and um, they they had to sell like nine or ten CDs. You had to buy if you wanted to get like a certain thing out of like their whole promotion, and and it just they 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 sold stacks. I mean, it was ridiculous. Mm. So again, idol idol fans are it's a culture of collectors, you know. So so that actually I'm okay with. What I think my whole thing is, I just want quality to be there. That's all. Mm. The song's okay. It's not. It's, it doesn't leave me wanting to cry or I don't get goosebumps from it. And that's so. It's like it. It is what it is. It's standard. They played it safe, in my opinion. Not. Not saying it's bad. It's just. It's just. I guess okay to me. Uh, but I, I like the girls more. I'm. I'm starting to like them as people. So that makes me want to support them regardless of the song. That's kind of the trick of being an idol fan, right? They can have a crappy yeah. song, sing it terribly, but you don't care because you love them, and that's that's very smart. But but now with Seto Bingo being out, I'm starting to learn so much. Thank yeah, you, Maritime exactly. Subs. Thank you, Mario. Like it's just, Thank you so much. it's ridiculous how much more I feel closer to the girls, especially like Kai. Like every time Seto Bingo, oh, Kai, Kai gets like, a yeah. Kai I love this yeah. girl. This girl is yeah. like the, the awesome. annoying little sister, yeah. you know. <laughs> and, but she's awesome. Like I yeah. like, her. and then um. Takino is just crushing oh, yeah. it. Like, she is a true leader, and I had no idea. So, you know, I guess in that sense it's good that they're out finally with a song that we can support. Yeah, I, I mean, I, just... I still I still love... Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> no more wait. Oh, man. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not hoping, uh, by the way, I'm sorry. I'm not hoping this show will be recorded okay because I don't know what my computer is doing. I think an update oh. is coming from Windows 10, and that's why it's slowing down and freezing up. So hopefully, Ooh. this episode will be going smoothly. Otherwise, oh, I am sorry. And I, I, You mean, unlike the STU bots? <laughs> yeah. It, oh, oh my god. Shit. Oh my god, okay, enough with that. Enough with that. Yeah, every every week we destroy them on the boat. I think I let's give them a break. They put out the single, let's celebrate them instead mm. of torture them on the fact that they screwed that up horribly. Well, okay, how about another segue from screwing up horribly? Taipei forty eight just announced uh, they have their Sambatsu made, but not yep. a debut C D and they show a picture of the Sambatsu and Aki P was there, so yep. we gotta face the facts, Derek. They exist. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'll uh, believe it when I see there. it. Yeah. So the yeah. final, the, uh, let's see, the final uh, results are 45 girls, three Japanese girls, three Hong Kong girls, one Macau girl, and 38 Taiwanese girls have been chosen among the 72 candidates. That's a big oh, group. Bad. That's it's not bad. Big, yeah. Wait, wait, wait! It's a Japanese girl, Maria. What? Maria is in there, yeah. So. Uh, I, look, look. If 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 Taipei actually does anything, that I'm actually happy because I I, I want them. I want these groups to exist because I want to see AKB spread everywhere, even if it's just Asia. I don't care. Like it's it's just awesome, you know. But the thing is, Taipei has been around as a myth for how many years now? I mean, before like the pre Achan era, and it's like. It, they still haven't got their crap together. Even when they made the announcement at Takamine's grad, and everyone was like, "Uh, I thought Taipei was already." in existence like but it technically isn't as long as they don't do what mnl you know 48's doing then it's okay <laughs> because that that they're like 
the exact list of things you should never do with the Nido group, they're doing them all. Versus Taipei, they're just not doing anything. So maybe they're finally getting somewhere. What they all need to do is check out what Bangkok 48's doing because they are crushing it. Like our oh, one yeah. fan that always talk, gives us our update was uh, sent me a link to Koi Zero for, Fortune Cookie. It's like the 30, 40 million freaking views on that thing. And I actually watched it. It's so much fun. Like the girls yeah. all look amazing and they, they're they actually, I mean, it is a little weird to watch though because the video is, um, how shall I put it? Uh, like it's not exactly the Koi Sura Forge cookie put out in Japan. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm not even gonna elaborate any more than that. I'm just gonna say watch it. But um, it's just one of those things that like the girls really shine and they have a lot of fun. And his arena looks very cute in it, so. Okay. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's, that sounds that sounds great then. Oh, uh, yeah. the fan who keeps us up to date on the BN, BNK48 is Meta HP fan. So thank you so much for keeping us up to date. On I the, know every week it's like reading a newspaper. Like thank you. I I feel like so educated now. We can include conversation about Bangkok because they're they're an example of what to do right as a, a international group. Because I mean Jay, Jakarta we haven't heard anything about. So yeah. I don't know. Well, they I'm even awesome. still around. <laughs> I hope so. Mm-hmm. Kind of they're like, actually big now though in Jakarta. i know but it's like it's just they're you don't so hear so much over. about them yeah like yeah. they're like over somewhere else anymore at least bangkok 48 seems to like want to do stuff with actual akb like they've been kind of working and talking there's been pictures like i think akb went over to thailand recently yeah or something, they, and they had the concert i think yeah members were there the, ba- the yeah. bangkok 48 members were like hey what's up like where your sisters over here represent like uh, everyone was real cool with each other so I, I kind of feel like they're like doing what Jakarta did back when Jakarta first started, and and I kind of hope that they keep going because, you know, that's really great for Thailand. It's great for Bangkok, you know. So, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, Taipei looks at that, and Manila looks at that, and like, oh, that's how we do it. Cause, oh, Manila, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even want to talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, have everyone have, sorry, blah, blah, blah. has everyone been watching AK Bingo? From the past week, not today, but last week. How oh yeah! Not, How could you not? Uh, not? How could you That's, not? It's so right. good. So, what's the first thing you want to mention on that show? Why don't you go ahead, share? Uh let's see. Well, uh, again, the first thing that I noticed is their days are long, just yep. too long. Mm-hmm. And how they keep—if this is a daily thing. For like top members, it's just how can you not be tired or faint on stage or you know be exhausted? It's like this is crazy. Just going from one place to another to another to another just to please fans. And I think this was the message behind this. It's just you see how they hard they work actually. Notice how much they put effort in their craft just to entertain you. I think that's the biggest message I got out of this. Yep. Um, on, on fun parts, um, I cried with uh, Macherin. Oh, mm, me yeah. too. I, oh, I was like, man. I was like, oh, do, 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 do. like it was, it was bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to explain to people why I were crying. It's just because y- I know how Macherin started. You know, on on Koku uh, Takai, and she just introduced herself from Taiwan and was scared a little there, and <coughs> seeing her grow up and now being, of course, in the Senbatsu for the first time ever. And then hearing that story about her father, normally not watching Koku mm-hmm. because they could watch it in Taiwan, but he was going to set everything aside and watch it this time because there would be a chance she was going to be on there, but she wasn't. And it's like, well, next year maybe. And there, though, just the emotion behind it, I was like, oh, <laughs> just so, so, so sad for her. Yeah. I think it will be fine. And, and, yeah. Yes, please. Yes, yeah. The first step has been set with the first Sun Batsu, so. Mm-hmm. Let's hope she can keep the momentum going. I would say, I really wanted to see her though, because she's basically the first Taiwanese member that mm. actually made the A side for AKB48 songs. So. Mm-hmm. Anyone Can't else? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. For 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 me, um, like the the matcha in part was very touching because we forget sometimes idols have parents and then those parents love them and yeah. they and think about for Matrin's case, her parents are very far away. And that was a very touching moment, but it was also the fact that Ma- Machiren has, 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 is, is, she's, she's not Japanese and she's doing so well in a normal, normally a very homogenous 
society and she has really adopted and done a great i mean think about it. she japanese is not her language and she could fool me you know what i mean and mm. and it's like she and, and she worked so hard to be in that group and then you look at all the other girls and they're working just as hard just like you said to please the fans robin um but at the end of the day this is what you got to remember i think if you want to be an idol or any type of performer you got to love it you got to love the craft and if you if you love your fans you'll do anything for them you know what I mean? Like anything. So I, when I was in a band, that's, I, I loved, I, I did everything for them, everything. That's, I lived for it. And so if you are a true performer and this isn't a job for you, but it's like actually something you wake up and, and it's more important to you than the air you breathe, then it's actually not really work. It's actually like, you know what's work? Going to sleep because you don't want to be asleep. You want to keep doing this stuff. So if those girls have that mindset, I don't think they'll ever get burned out. I mean, yeah, their bodies will be tired, but also think about it, they're also in physical top shape. Like they're not like like us, where you know we could sit in front of a, a computer for nine hours and then of course we feel like crap. But they're dancing, they're eating, no, mostly it seems healthy, and you know they have their little cheats. But yeah. I think you know even if they eat crappy, they're still burning off those calories in like two seconds with all the work they do, plus going around everywhere. But at the end of the day, when they get that 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 comment from a fan. Like you're great. Like I love you. Like you're you're doing a great job. Good luck. Think about the what that does for you. It's like all that work pays off. You know. What what also was uh, noticeable is how many members before they go to bed. Of course, they do the showroom as much as they can. Uh, SNS updates, and then before they go to bed, um, either they practice or they um, you know like oil there well not oil like ointments and something to do just yeah. on their legs to keep so them skin very care, skin care, so yeah, yeah skin care. just amazing moisturizer and combined to that and it's like midnight and they have to get up at five hours later basically mm -hmm. so five hours sleep every day you know, i hope they have days off and a normal well more sleep on that side um yeah what i also noticed is yui yui um being of mm -hmm. course with the graduation stage of uh, mayu Giving oh, yeah. her the uh, the special cake that she was uh, wanting for the uh, like the meat pie was it or cake something something yes. that she was okay. wanting for that, but it was also her birthday that same day. Yeah, that was a surprise, right? She didn't even talk about it. No. It was just like, oh, by the way, it's my birthday. It's yes, like, uh, she was sitting in the home and she was like a little bit like, okay, yeah, it's my birthday. Right? It's like her. not important. I have other things to do, and it's like really. Just be excited well, as well on that side, but it's okay to think about that. But she had no time for that. Yeah, well, I can tell you too, again, just from working with Necronomidal and like when I was on tour with them and I stayed with them, you know, at the Airbnbs and stuff, um, the, their, their get to bed rituals, like before bed rituals, is 100% exactly what we saw. Like, you know, taking care of themselves and like, you know, making sure they're with their fans and uh, they did, the girls practice so much. And it's like, you know, sometimes like even the girls in the in the van would be. I'd look back in the mirror, and they're they're sitting there doing the dance moves, and they're singing. And like when I remember when Ricky Ricky San like played me their new songs off the Strange Eon CD, like well before that CD came out, and she played it for the girls for the first time. And I was standing there outside the van. We were in some hotel parking lot. The girls just all started singing, like dancing, and they were trying to get into it. And it's like instantly their minds start working. Like we gotta work. We gotta practice this. And it's like. Their whole lives are that. But think about it. They're idols. That, that's their job, too. So in that sense, like, it's not that unusual because they want to be good at their jobs because if they're not, that can affect them being in the group. That can affect their fans maybe saying, well, you didn't do that great. I can tell you don't care. You know, think about it. they They make – well, at least in the underground world, like, you make your money through those fans, like, really paying for those checkies and, you know, really, like, devoting themselves <laughs> to you. If you can't get those fans to like you – you're going to have a problem as an idol. Now, AKB is a little different because you're, you're paid as a salary person. Like, you know, you're paid as an employee. But even then, it's like you don't want to you don't have your management look down on you and say, oh, you're a bad employee because you don't do all these things. What we have to ask ourselves is the camera was in front of all these girls in AKB and go, how much of that they were playing up to the camera versus how much they act that actually is true. But just from being with Necronomidal and, like, actually seeing all that up, like, with my own eyes, mm -hmm. um, I actually feel that is all of that was very true. AKB Bingo probably had two of the best episodes they've ever put out with these past two like no joke like seeing what it really means to be an idol that's that's priceless especially on that level akb level you know what i mean yeah. like mm. i don't know i really commend ak bingo for doing that and i commend like all those girls like me on with her her skin problem and yet there she was like make sure she's taking care of herself doing 900 other things 
really genuinely concerned for us mm-hmm. to understand she's in this 210 percent they didn't doing, like yeah, me exactly you know or even I mean? doing that homework dude between oh yeah great <laughs> right. never stop they never stop but that's that's why we love them you know and that's I mean, all, with, with all the sleep mm-hmm. thing that's why they do it as occasionally between the shows they, if they're yeah. traveling they sleep if they're uh waiting for them they sleep like you see all these pictures, like Okada okay, Nana just sleeping backstage or something on the covers, it's because she's so busy, she has no time for sleep. So she'll take as much as she can in between downtime. It's unbelievable how they do it. Well, also too, like, and and I think I can say this. This is, sounds like a sweeping generalization, but I think I I can say this. You know, in Japan, I think a lot of Japanese people they're almost trained to be when they're on the trains to just yeah yeah know? yeah. I, I, I mean, witnessed it, it firsthand. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Same it's the man. culture of trust, you know, like, exactly. like you can do it because you know, like, no one's going to steal your wallet. No one's going to take your phone. Exactly. I've seen people, you know, like this on other people. I've had people lean on me and I just smile. Uh, yeah. I'm like, same, yeah, I got that the same experience. I was sitting yeah. in the Yamanota <laughs> line, just playing on my yeah. phone and uh, suddenly a weight on my shoulders. Like, huh? I'm, I'm yeah. sleep well and but, I'm good to you. Just doing like, thing, you know? go sleep. It's fine. I, I've yeah, seen like, that. Fine. It's okay. I've seen an actual person sleeping on in front of the doors, though. <laughs> I I've seen it a couple of times for a late at night, like last train type situation on the weekend, where you know you have everybody kind of sprawled out on the on the mm. on like the ground, almost yeah. like, and like yeah, but yeah. The yeah, one yeah. I saw, the one girl was like doing like a full like ninety degree angle, hanging there like this on the side, and just when her stop came, she's like, oh, okay, go, and she's like, I'm like, how do you do that? Like they just know. They it's, they really just know, yeah. It's impressive. And, and also, it's, impressive. Uh, it's funny that I saw someone like on their phone playing a mobile game, and you saw it like did animation, fell asleep, <laughs> and it's like I'm looking. Yeah. It's like, are you playing a game? It's like the animation ended. It's like. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen, yep, it. seen it. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it. No, so so the AKB members, you know, they're probably you know you're just trained to do that there. So it's like. They know how to snap back, like, and again, to use Necronomino, when I, they were in the van, they were tired, they just instant out, like, just out, like, in two seconds, you know, mm. it's all that, it's like, all that energy and inertia they have throughout the day or during their performance, once that's gone, they, they, they need to, like, conserve, like, a, like, a bear, like, they hibernate as long as they need in order to conserve energy for the next thing, whatever it may be. Also, other things from the, the show I, I noticed was... Um, the teammate member practicing with her father, the guitar. That was very oh, sweet to see. Oh, yeah. That was uh, good so to cute. see. Uh, Matching her cooking skills are amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is, I want to oh, yeah. see a cooking show. I want her to work at the AKB48 Cafe, and then I can order some good food on that side. Mm. <laughs> oh, good luck. Good luck good on luck. that part. Yeah. <laughs> good luck on the Good luck getting in on that one. <laughs> I, I wish just once they would have something good on that menu. Just once. Like, it's 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 purposely horrible. Like, mm, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, we all know you don't is, go. I'll probably be going. I'll probably be going in July. Oh, I'll go. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> okay. Because Yo. You kind of... Yo. Uh, I'm going because of the So Thank You coasters. Yeah, See, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, it's yeah. none of the food. It's all for the coasters. That's yeah. the whole thing. The yeah. food, yeah. Basically, you I, could you could come in, order some food, throw the food away, get the coaster, and leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway, but yep. uh, the only reason I want their food is the recommended one, so I could just request a random song of the list. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you gotta, uh, yeah, yeah. You got to explain how that works because I have had it. I had I, I could um, when I was in the cafe I was able to choose one time but none of the other times. So what is the mechanics on the other one actually? Oh, cause they uh, like the AKB cafe tweets it out. It's like oh yeah, this is our recommended menu today. So you have to order that recommended menu. Mm. Right, has to be that yeah. day. Yeah, whatever is that day. And uh, luckily that day was like the Goya tonkatsu. Ah. So like, oh, it's decent food. It's actually decent. It's decent food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I put Ogi no Yuka number one or something. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> um, anything else noticeable from AK Bingo? Mm. I can't that wait to watch uh, today's. It's the Moe yeah. battle. Oh, the Moe battle. Because oh, that's always fun. Time. Yeah, any time. <laughs> so it's, we're, we're going to see some funny funny stuff there. And I saw um, 
What's his name again? The news guy. Uh, Aoki. 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 Aoki is back Aoki. again. Aoki. But yep. he's getting physically pulled between crew girls, so. Oh, uh, my. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, and of course, his, his favorite is there. It's um, Koji Mako is there, but oh boy. he <laughs> changed from Koji Mako, right? To someone from Team Ooh. 8. Did Ooh. he? Did oh, he? got some competition, Yeo. Yeah. It's fine. Once he bots Mako at least one time, then I'm good. <laughs> we'll, 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 we're gonna Mako to We're going to see some... <laughs> We'll, we'll see some funny antics uh, on that side. Um, okay. Uh, so my topics are pretty much open. Does anyone have things on there? We're still pretty early on the show. Mm. I mean, I got I got stuff to share, but I was waiting till the end. But I think we pretty much covered our topics. It's a super short short episode, but that's okay. I mean, we can have a short one. Yeah, no, two, I'm, I'm two hour okay. one. Was there, was there on, online Nippon something? No, 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 not really. The, the, the it just it talk. They, they were talking about WIP that's happening yeah. in ten days. Yeah. And and yes, I'm I'm still excited for that show, but nothing that's like, oh my god, have you seen this or that? There's um, even yeah. a prequel though. There's even a prequel for the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm. I mean, I think the the big thing to note is you know K K is back in, in a way, and um. Their, their new single, I think, is going to crush some faces. It's, it's awesome. I can't wait for the MV. From what you guys said, it seems to be very uh, glorious in it, all of its Michael Jackson beauty. So I'm excited. And, uh, you know, it's just... Okay. Uh, but, but you know what, though? I kind of want to get Aki P's thoughts on this. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 uh, wait, before we go that. Oh. Remember we were talking about that news that happened with the uh, top lead? Yeah. Ah. Uh. That's oh, good, yeah. good on you, Yeo. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to take it, or should I just inform the people hey. what happened? Ah, uh, you, you should, because you 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 talk better than me. So. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. So, for those who don't know, um, the main guy from Top Lead, I forgot his name right now. Uh, He's last week we talked about he got uh, arrested and uh, prosecuted for breaking and entering. AKB uh, AKS took action and removed him from all jobs. And we were wondering about his partner, what will happen? Well, they finally figure it out. Um, so Kimidare was uh, back on the show, and it's him soloing. He doesn't have a partner anymore, he's no longer ah. in top lead, he's basically him. And I could tell Muriyama uh, Yuri was a little bit, you know, upset, but it's also like, okay, I can't trust this guy anymore, and now I'm mm -hmm. just with this guy. and and. Well, she gave a lot to the fans. She gave like a uh, you no know, kissy thing on uh, glass, so people want to frame that. And you know, she's getting more loosely and loosely, and, and it's good to see. But good for the guy, uh, well, formerly known as Top Lee now, that they're continuing with this and didn't, you know, end his contract and his career because his partner did something stupid. So that's awesome. Th that's that's a good yeah. follow up to that. I it's would a good say. Thing. Yeah, but he's actually good at like being the background MC the whole time though. So that's why like I think that's why he got him again, because like he's good at supporting like other MCs. Like he's a good support. He's like basically like Paradise yeah. from uh, Woman yeah. Night Hour. What is so, what is like, that called? The was it like Bokeh something? Bokeh. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to. Uh, he's a straight guy, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, good. I, you know what? It's good that they shouldn't. He shouldn't have to suffer because of that, man. It's his partner made the mistake, not him. Yeah, so. and he's actually good at like supporting members too. Like, good. oh yeah, do this. Like, oh yeah, this is what you're good. supposed to do. So like, yeah. I love him for doing that. So yeah, the, 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 that's a good part on that. So a little bit of justice for that side. Still, it sucks that this guy, you know, from Top Lead is gone. Um, well, yeah, he. I think he's now sitting time, or he, he's been prosecuted. And it'll be. A, I don't think his career will bounce back from this. No. Nope. But uh, yeah, nope. I, I don't see him ever working uh, in an a AKB48 to group no. again. So sucks. But yeah, you don't do the crime. You can't do the time, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, but again, we don't know all the details. So I think at the very least, I just I hope he gets his stuff worked out. You know, I hope whatever will happen. To make him even remotely think that was a good idea, um, like he 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 reevaluates and and hopefully he gets redeemed. I I everybody loves a good redemption story. Yeah. I, I don't know in yeah. Japan if that redemption is ever possible, but I know here in America at least 
We like that. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind of hope he does get redeemed in some way, but at least his partner is good. What are you going to say, you know? Uh, speaking of drunk stories, remember when Dr- Sata from Bad Boys is like, "Oh, I'll beat, I'll beat AKB member, uh, and I'll yeah, use my yeah, shave, yeah, yeah. I'll shave my head right in front of you." Guys. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That's another way. They caught, they caught him talking they all that him, snack, yeah. and then look who got to shave his head. Yuko yeah. with his wife watching, and she's like, "It's okay, wife," and she's like, "Do it." Like, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Hey, they got him back. Th- well, he got them back Karma. though because no, his hair after that looked amazing. He had no more the the, the pompadour, but he had like the side uh, mohawk, and he looked even yeah. better before. He looked like an upgraded bad boy. So yeah, it worked out. Yeah, on that side. <laughs> still though, no. still one of my favorite all-time segments that AKB made. All right, I'll so beat any AKB member to anything they want, and I'll shave yeah. my head if I lose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, speaking of so segments good. then, um, Yeho, oh. I believe you have someone uh, with you. Could you get him, yeah. please? We have some questions for him. Yeah, yeah is, there, is there a way you could get him? We want to talk to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's so oh, missing. Man. Well, <laughs> while Yeho is getting uh, this yeah. particular person, person on the side, yeah, um, yeah no, <laughs> it's like how long will it take, actually? Hopefully not uh, too well, long. You know, not too long. Oh, 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 Aki P, can you explain what your thinking was behind uh, writing the sixth song for Kei Kizaka 46? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have to like make a story about uh, Techi's uh, injury, so that's why she's doing that throw thing. Ah. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's oh. really smart, Aki P. And, and we want to go rock and roll, you know, like... <laughs> 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 so Sorry, my hair is, you know, <laughs> messy, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, how was your trip in uh, Taipei? Yeah, it's good because uh, uh, because Abe Maria is there. She speaks fluent Chinese now, so I could actually speak fluently. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 why is there not the song yet for Taipei Forty Eight? Yeah. What's going on there? Uh, probably the Chinese guy I hired. Um, can't translate properly from Japanese to things. So. Oh, <laughs> Japanese to Chinese. So it's probably uh we're thinking about Abe Maria to do the translation for me. Oh, so. okay. Oh, sure. Because okay. <laughs> you don't have enough money, Akibi, right? <laughs> for, Taipei. For, for Taipei, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm still building my boat, so... <laughs> So, is that... um, how is uh, Produce 48 uh, going? I heard yeah, there were some I... scheduling issues between Sosenkyo and Produce 48's uh, auditions. Uh, go Korea! <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the deal anyway? Because we heard the rumors about Shigo Mamiru and Miyawaki Sakura joining with the uh, auditions. Uh, joining auditions? Oh, the big names? Yeah. Yeah, as they said, uh, it's true. They're reducing uh, Jurina's competitors, and uh, I saw in tweets. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. so Jurina goes number one. We have to reduce the competitors against Jurina. So. So. Is that what you... Oh, okay. What about uh, the whole managing system with voting? So Japanese yeah. people can only vote on the Korean coaches, and the Korean coach can only, or the Korean uh, folk can only co- uh, vote on the Japanese coaches. That your decision? Uh, I think it's probably the management decision. So like, oh yeah, I ha- I hate that guy. So yeah, cause like, if the Japanese fans know this guy, this uh Japanese judge like, yeah, no, I'm not voting for him. So there's probably a love hate. So like, oh yeah, let's do it reversely. So I don't fully know that person. So mm-hmm. what are you working on right now? Uh, Nachan song. 
Not to, how is it? Is it coming along? Yeah. Yes. Somehow, uh, along on top of my uh, other set lists, you know, <laughs> my my promise set lists uh, four yeah. years ago. <laughs> oh, you mean the stages that are not out yet? Yeah, we were wondering about that. What, yeah, yeah, guys? Yeah. What are you doing in your spare time? Just curious. Yeah. Uh, go traveling to everywhere and like having dinners with my favorite members, you know. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe less dinners and more work there, Aki P. Yeah. What do you say? Uh I have all day, so you can't say that to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, okay. Thank you, Aki P, for joining us this week again, thank and you, hopefully Aki. we'll see you next time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move on then to recommendations hey, for. Uh, his camera. <laughs> he's amazing. Oh, yo! Oh, you miss him, man. Yeah. Like, uh, such a great guy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's pretty cool. I mean, maybe he should, you know. I can't believe he had time to go to Canada and just, you know, yeah. go to your home. I know. I know, right? <laughs> You better check to make sure all of your little Furby toys behind you are still there. He might have taken one. I think yeah. I saw him trying to snatch one. Yeah, where's the pyramid? Where's the pyramid? <laughs> where's the yeah, second where, pyramid? Yeah. There's not a pyramid anymore because I could be took one or two. Is or it? Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did I see Sonic in the other uh, pile? I think I did too. Yeah. 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 yeah there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's actually attached or oh, Yeah. Oh my god. That's amazing. You are you are just I just can't I have no words. Yeah. Just... Alright, um let's go to recommendations then for our next yeah. week's show. Uh I would say Moe Battle. That's the first thing on my yeah, mind. Battle, yeah. Mm, ten days. Think... So still too early for WIP. Yes. Oh, yeah. <coughs> On the twenty-three, I think. Yeah. Um. Try and watch if, if this possible, Meche Ike, because Watanabe oh, Mayu yeah. uh will be on uh, Otosan mm. uh show and Back getting Otosan, yeah, yeah getting revenge. They say. So. Oh yeah. Mm. Go Mayu. I will say watch that. Um. With Nemos Telbi, they have another no sleep battle, so can fall asleep or you're out pretty much. <laughs> Can you can't believe they're doing that again? Because I like I really like that second. <laughs> okay. I, st I still love that last one they did though. Yui Han just like, so if I'm out one more time, I can sleep now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll sleep now. <laughs> yeah, she was tired. It's like uh, done. Yeah, yeah done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Yui Han, so she, she has, can be tired anytime. Yeah, she has she has lots more stuff to do. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any recommendations? Ah, uh, no, actually, it's just more battle. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> Derek. Yeah, well, I, I got a couple things. I mean, it's, I don't want to share the recommendations, but just stuff to talk about in general. Um, okay. First of all, um, I wanted to say that um, I, you know, I'm moving to Tokyo next month, and as part of that move. Um, I am going to be getting rid of a lot of different stuff of mine. Um, I don't want to say get rid of, but just more like downsizing. I have a ton of AKB DVDs that um, I might part with because I've just made copies. And it's just, you know, instead of bringing boxes of DVDs, I'd rather just give them to somebody who wants them or whatever. So as our fans, if, they're, if you're interested in anything like that, let me know. Um, I also have some Necronominal stuff too. I have all their CDs and stuff. I have like quite a bit. Ricky gave me and said to give away or do whatever with. So um, if you're interested in that, I'd love to promote them as well. Yeah. Um, also, uh, you know, I am working on a gigantic show in Los Angeles uh, for August that is going to involve American <clears throat> idols, uh, Japanese idols, and also Japanese or American bands. And um, you know, I'm going to be announcing a lot of the details as I get them more. Um, but just just to kind of give you guys a preview, you know, um, it's going to be at the Chain Reaction in Anaheim, uh, August uh, 18th and 19th, and it's called East Meets West Music Fest. Mm -hmm. And basically two days. The first day is metal and other American acts, not all metal, some of them aren't, um, with Japanese idol groups. 
And um, I have my whole lineup for that is, is already pretty much confirmed. It's solid. The second day is uh, American-based Japanese idols. And uh, well, well, some there's a few that aren't Japanese. And then um, the Japanese idol groups. So I have all those confirmed as well. The only ones I don't have are like the Japanese idol groups themselves 100% confirmed. I mean, I do, but I don't want to make any announcements till I have it all like guaranteed. Um, I will say this. Uh, this will be one of the biggest I events, I feel in Japanese idol history as far as like coming to have groups come here because no one's I think ever really done it on the scale I'm doing it I mean I guess you could say J-pop summit has done it but you know they're a huge institution I'm one person so you know I've had a lot of support a lot of sponsors uh, tickets are not gonna be cheap but I I would hope you would forgive me for that because I do have a gigantic overhead for that so having said that I am looking for sponsors for this show, which is why I'm bringing all this up. If you want to be a sponsor, if you want to help out, you want your name on this, if you want some kind of like VIP stuff uh, in, in exchange, just let me know. Uh, I really need everybody to get behind this because it's going to be huge. Yeah, you'll be there. So, um, you know, and uh, we're going to <laughs> yeah. uh, do a lot of that. We're going to do a lot of that. Um, the Chain Reaction is, is one of my favorite places. I played there, sold it out with my old band. Um, you know, it's like 400 capacity, so I don't even need to get all of that to do well. But if we could sell out that place both days, that would be a dream come true for me, but more importantly for the idols. Um, I have some idol groups coming from Japan, first time ever even, I think, out of the country of Japan. So think about that mentally, what that does. And also, one of the groups, just to give you an idea, you know, it's that idol academy I was telling you about. They actually have a name now. They're called Fairy, and Fairy is, you know, they're making their debut pretty much on the oh, wow. stage mm. and Ooh. not only that but the idol academy is supposed to be getting new students all those students are going to be coming to observe and kind of like a senpai ko i think so they're actually going to be there to evaluate what it means to be at an idol show so lots of opportunities here to have a lot of fun we're going to celebrate idol culture we're going to celebrate uh, american metal american <laughs> rock um it's just going to be huge. So yeah. please support this starting now. Please. The, the the links will be provided, of course, in uh, the yeah. description uh, below. Oh, thank us. you. Yeah, of course. Um, let's do another What's announcement it? before in August. Um, Ooh, also been announced can we? now. Uh, can we? Well, yes, it is, it is on animecon.nl. Uh, yes, go Derek for it. Go will, for it. Yeah, okay. Derek will be showing up again this year in Animecon. Uh, in World Forum The Hague on the June 14th till June 16th, the weekend of. And mm -hmm. Necromodal, he's bringing uh, them along. So we'll have yep. Japanese idols for uh, the Europeans. So if you haven't got tickets for Anime Con, I would highly recommend that you will get tickets now. Um, Derek, continue for Necromodal first, and then I have another announcement that we'll make. Well, yeah, well, so, so yeah, so, like, like Necronomino hasn't officially announced on their own, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's already done, so I guess it's, it's not going to hurt anything to say, but, yeah, they're, they're coming, um, it's part of their whole European tour, they're doing a huge European tour that, that whole month, then they're going to break off and do this, um, thank you, Anime Con, for making this happen, thank you, Jody, uh, in particular, Jody Franken, uh, I love you to death for making this work, and Robin, I owe you so much for this, because it's also because of you that this is happening, so, you know, anyone that is going to the show, give Robin a big, huge hug because it's his connection. It's it's this is all because of you, Robin, not because of me. Mm -hmm. You invited me. You you know you. This is all your thing. So, you know, Necroma is going to destroy Anime Con. You don't understand how powerful they are live until you see them. They put on one of the best shows I've ever seen. And on top of that, it's very emotional and very powerful. They'll be doing handshakes, VIPs, checkies, the whole nine. I mean, well, not VIP, but they'll be doing checkies. They'll be doing all that, but then in addition to that, I am also doing a panel on the contemporary Tokyo underground idol scene. I've spent enough time in it, I figured, why not talk about it? So I'll have my own segment, um, probably about an hour, I think, and I'm just going to go through everything that's contemporary in the Tokyo underground idol scene uh, this day. So please come. Please yeah, have so Necronomino like, will be on Saturday, so you don't have to buy yeah. a weekend ticket if you can't afford like the whole weekend, but just Saturday it starts at uh, Netherlands time, uh, one thirty. One one thirty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, PM of course. Um, so <clears throat> come in along and enjoy. Also, and Ooh. this is still work in progress, but uh -oh. Forty Eight Talk will be there the, again this year to do our normal yes, show. We will. But yes, we will. The, but the stars has aligned, and it's unbelievable that this happened. So the fifteenth, June, something else has been announced, of course already. 
AKB48, so thank you. So thank you. We'll be there. So I'm currently still work progress. It still needs to be going in my mind. I'm talking, of, of course, with Jody with this. Uh, there, there should be a viewing party. Either way, oh. I'm either I'm gonna do it on stage, so we have a, like a whole day of showing the viewing party of the concert, so thank you, and then after that, 48 talk. Or either we're just gonna hang out with each other and just you know talk a lot about the so thank you while we're it's happening live. So everyone who has interest of coming to the Netherlands, if you're nearby, if you can do it, if you want to have a small vacation, <coughs> go to AnimeCon. For an I, I want to do. Yeah. I want to do, but I'm in Japan. So. You are in Japan, oh, yeah. so you are there live. <laughs> but for anyone else who's not going to Japan or anything else, like you want a giant viewing party for the Sosenkyo, this is it. This can this be it. it. This will be yeah. uh, if we can do this. Like the whole community at this one anime con viewing location. Watching the Sosenkyo live with reactions, you know, we'll be on stage, we'll do questions, we're gonna have lots of fun together. You know, the Sosenkyo is what, six hours? And yeah. we're gonna do, you know, our podcast after that, plus questionnaires, plus you have Necronomadal who's gonna perform, you could have uh, watching Idols live. You can meet us and hang out with us at, at, at like, uh, Sea Deutsche was there last year and we had, I'm gonna forget his name. Yaroslav. Yaroslav. And Yaroslav. they hanged out with us the whole weekend, we had so much fun. We after. had... Yeah, we had Nicholas, we had Flores, we had we Flores We still have these well. glasses, so it's just amazing. And Flores is, is there, it's like... Nicholas as well. Nicholas, so, yeah. it's like... Mm -hmm. Go to AnimeCon.nl and order your tickets now. You can, yeah, there's still there. enough time for the weekend of June 14th, uh, Friday, Saturday uh, 15th, and Sunday the 16th. This is going to be great if you're like an AKB48 fan who wants to interact with all the community. Mm -hmm. Let's do it live at one place in the World Forum, The Hague, Netherlands. So, yeah, I'm going to promote this like every time we're going to do the show because I yeah, want so, so yeah. many people. I want I want 100, <clears throat> 200, 400, thousands yep. of yep. you guys here. I want to see every one of you and I want to meet every one of you. Also, also to add that two takes, one, The Hague is freaking beautiful. The, this You don't understand how great Netherlands is. I was never a big fan of Europe until I went to the Netherlands. Now I like, honestly, I miss, I miss the Netherlands. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, country, good people, friendly people. They sell beer in crates, people. <laughs> oh God. Beer in crates. That's all I have to say. You got to come and drink and have a good time. We're going to get massively drunk together. Hopefully. Oh man. And then also I want to sweeten it even more to get you guys to come. If you come, there may be a special discount deal on the tickets for the show in August that I'm putting on in Los Angeles. So if you want to be international and you can make the Netherlands show, if, if you make it there, I may just have something very special for any of you if you're also going to go to the LA show. Mm -hmm. And and only, and it will be an exclusive. So if you don't go to the anime show, you will not be able to get this. And it could be something very huge. It could be something I, I'm not going to offer normally. So this is just an added incentive. So if you have a plan to go, you could meet me too. In August, <laughs> That's uh, true. You, Ye Yeo is pretty much the key here because when you meet him, he's just and overwhelming. Maybe, maybe we'll have some gifts of our own to give away. And maybe we'll have gifts. Well, last so. year we gave like albums away from AKB48. It was fun. Yes, it was fun. <laughs> uh, Yeo. <laughs> Yeo. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he's out. He's out. <laughs> Anyways, okay. yeah, you got come, man. It's gonna be freaking awesome. We're gonna have a great time. Just show up anywhere. It's like I said, yeah. it's still a work in progress, but we're definitely gonna have a viewing party, one way or another. It's gonna be insane. Mm -hmm. Oh man, can't wait. All it's right. So, I would say this is an episode. Yes. Then, by all means, thank you for watching this week's episode of Forty Eight Talk, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take it away. Oh, Take no, it away. Bye 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 bye